day crafty chums it's Nikki here aka Carson to cat aka Carson to cat's life and I'm coming at you today with a video for the hashtag everyday art hop and um, as usual there'll be a playlist um, I'll put all information in the uh, description box below there'll be a card at the end which will give links to the playlists and everybody taking part I hope you um, join me and all the others taking part as well and have a jolly good time. So without further ado, because it's a 10 minute video, <laughs> got to get on with it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'll make a, uh, some backgrounds here using some Distress Oxides from Timmy Holtz. And um, so what I'm doing is... Uh, making a background and then I'll make an ATC with just one ATC. I won't make loads because I won't have time for it um, but it will give me backgrounds to work with later on as well. Sure. Enough talking so what I'm doing is I'm activating the um, distress inks, popping it onto the cardstock then I'll be drying it off in between I've got bits of paint and things on here as well, but it doesn't matter because it just all adds to the texture of it. So I could have done that better. I could have had that more in the middle, couldn't I? So um, what I'm going to do is dry it off and then do another layer. Okay, to build up the layers, you do have to dry off in between um, to set the distress oxides. And, uh, and what happens is you build up a layer and build up the colour and depth and uh, you get all kinds of interesting things happen there so that's what I'm going to continue to do is build it up. So what I'm doing here is uh, just stamping some tissue paper with uh, Stamps and Versmark ink uh, and I'll be layering that over the top of um, the watercolour paper that I've uh, made the background on. I've just got PVA glue and water here. So I'm just going to pop this all over the background. I 
I'm going to do now is cut this sheet up into um, ATC size, which is uh, two and a half by three and a half. Just um, finding out which is the best way to go without three and a half. Three and a half would be seven. So it's got to be two and a half. That's got to be three and a half that way. Best way to go to get the most out of that one. So I'll be back when I finish cutting it up. So I've cut it up. I've got these left over, which um, will be made and put onto something else and made into something else again, which is nice. And uh, so I'm just going to decide now which one I'm going to work on further. Um, to make into the ATC and um, although this is nice and nice and nice I'll go with this one here okay so we'll go with this one here I've got some um, washi tape I was given so um, I'm just going to pop a bit of washi tape on here just because it's got words on there. So, uh, just going to pop them on. Just a couple, doesn't need to be many, does it? That'll do. So, that's some washi tape gone on. Um, might just do a little bit. Of more stamping with a uh, texture stamp here and I'm going to use white because that's always good, white's always good, white's always a good colour to use could have done this um, while it was still on but I forgot <laughs> while it was still on the whole background would have been good but I forgot so there you go <laughs> that'll do just going to dry that off now What I've got here is a, a die cut, and I've just cut it out in cardstock, and I'm using it as a um, as a stencil. So um, that's what I'm going to do here. Is I'm going to stencil around the side here. I'm going to use this red because it's actually a favourite colour of mine. Just Hey, it's a good enough reason. And then I'm just going to doodle around a little bit.
Anyway, I'd just like to say thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, see you again soon. Don't forget forget to check out all the other artists taking part in the hashtag everyday art hop. See you there. Bye.